Welcome back to modifying a Fly Fly F86 Sabre. Well guys, how's it look? I got the landing gears mounted. <coughs> As you see, all that black area here, that's all that carbon fiber that I put in to make the landing gear area strong. What I did, I just uh, fitted the landing gears in, I had to shave some of the foam out, that foam block, so the landing gears would fit in. Then I took some hard wood, glued it in place uh, to fit the landing gears. And once that glue dried, uh, then I used epoxy with a baking soda mix. That way we get a nice hard bond and it strengthens all that area. And once uh, we got that set uh, to where it was tacky, not fully dry yet, but just tacky so we can be able to remove the landing gear and the blocks would stay in place. Then that's when I came in behind it with some epoxy and uh, all that carbon fiber that I had. And I just kept putting layers and layers and layers of carbon fiber. That way that whole area is rock hard. That whole landing gear area. See, that's one of the problems I had with the Hawk. As well as that Hawk flew, when I landed it nicely, one of the gears just popped right out. And so to, replace, to repair it, I put it back together with the baking soda and epoxy mix. Then I covered the area with carbon fiber and I haven't had any problems since. So I'm doing the same thing with this. Even underneath, even this, this whole bucket area here that holds the landing gear is nothing but carbon fiber. And when all I did was take some strips and just keep putting layer after layer after layer. And it came and it turned out to be a nice, strong, hard bond. Real good for any hard landings or grass fields because I know I'm going to be flying out of our field. And it's grass. Both our fields are grass. So I got that problem already solved. And as you see, I even got the, the gears mounted in. And I was looking at these landing gears that I bought. These uh, electric landing gears, the DSR-2. That's a nice set. They come with, just like here in the nose gear, you see you got the actuator. And they actually came with landing gear, spring-loaded struts, and wheels. I say, like, well, that's a nice bonus. So I have three spring-loaded struts and wheels to work with. Now the Saber kit itself also came with landing gears. It came with uh, these nice foam spring-loaded struts. You know, and I had to open up the tube a little bit to get it to fit onto the uh, gear, but it worked okay. And this is the nose gear as well, too. Now, I was looking at these gears, and like, you know, these gears, I, I went ahead and assembled one of them. As you can see here, nice wheel, uh, spring-loaded, and it seems to fit perfectly, be a perfect replacement for that nose gear. See it right there? And I said, you know, this looks a lot better than this. You know, and I like the rubber that's on here anyway, too. You know, this is foam, and it works good, but this, it, it, they're about... It's a little, just a slight bit heavier than this is. This is all aluminum, whereas this is steel. I put my magnet on it, and this is a whole all aluminum tubing here. And this is steel. So it fits nicely onto the nose gear. There we go, just like so. So I said, why not? Why not go ahead and use that? For the nose gear. We'll do a little experimenting and use that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as a nose gear. But other than that, uh, this bird's coming along nicely. We're almost ready to paint. I'm going to lightly sand all that area, the whole fuselage and the wings. In fact, the only thing left to do on the wings now is to uh, fit the flap servos, the uh, mounts for the flap servos. So I'm going to do that, then we're going to put this, the uh, other half back on it, and then we have wire it all up, and, that, and the wings will be done. And then we can finally, finally start on our painting. Like I said, I'm going to get some, uh, some uh, fine sandpaper and just finely sand the entire fuselage before I cover it with that, uh, that Dura Wax. So I'm going to make another video. And we're going to show you how we're going to do that. 
In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and complete these wings. And uh, it's supposed to be nice, but I got a lot of work to do outside too. So I'm trying to get this all done before while we still have some nice weather because I want to paint it outside. All right, well, we'll see you the next time.